To change the number of needles in use for a circular sock machine, the usual method is to change to a cylinder with different number of slots. Today's video will show you how to do that. I've most recently been using the 60 slot cylinder for socks for me, so I'm going to scrap off the final sock and change to a new cylinder. With the knitting off of the machine, we can see down into the cylinder. There's the rubber adjusting arm with its own center screw holding it to the cylinder. Most of us only have one of those, and if you're going to be using the rubber, that needs to be taken off and screwed to the wall of the next cylinder. We're not going to bother with that this time because I'm trying out a brand new cylinder and we'll just do stock in it first. We just need to remove these. There are two bolts underneath the cylinder. One of them is very near the river adjuster. And that's all that's holding a cylinder on. Jack's got the first one away from the adjuster out. It doesn't actually matter which way you put it in if you're not going to use the river. It's impossible to use the river if you are using it and you don't have the river adjuster on the correct side. The only hard thing about this is you sort of have to do it by feel. It's very hard to get your eyes under there. The bolts look like this. Each has a lock washer, and we don't want to lose that. Now we can drop the new cylinder in place of the old one and bolt it down. Though I won't be attaching the river adjusting arm for this experiment, the position to do so is right there. So just drop the new cylinder into place, bolt it down, and that's it. It's as simple as that. You may wonder about the bright red of this cylinder. It is a brand new 3D printed 48 slot cylinder. You're watching us install it for its maiden voyage. You can see how that went and get some other notes on using 3D printed cylinders in this movie.